Okay, here we go. How was your day at school? It was very good. It was yeah, very what, good. What'd you do today? Oh, uh, we did math and we had to see our poems. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how about you? Is that what you did too? Yes. And Samuel, what'd you do today? That's was you? I did the same. Was you good? Mm-hmm. Deborah, hi. You got up from your nap, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell your do your poems for me, guys. Stand real close together. Okay. okay. Do okay, you do your first, Samuel. Just once, I shall not pass this way again, but far beyond earth's where and when, may I look back along the road, where on both sides good seats I sowed, I shall not pass this way again, may wisdom guide my tongue and pen, and love be mine that so I may, my roses all along the way, I shall not pass this way again, grant me to suit the hearts of men, and love be mine that so I may, my roses all along the way. Okay, so all right, Charlene. The faded flag. The flagman lingers beside the track, awaiting the coming train. He holds a flag in both his hands to guide it along the main. When the train arrives and the track is clear, he waves, the, he lifts the flag that's white. The train speeds by and the engineer knows everything is all right. Each time the tracks are occupied, he waves the flag that's red. The train will stop when the brakes are pulled until it's clear up ahead. This is how it was done long ago, and the flagman never knew what slowly happened as day by day he stood his duty to do. Until one dreadfully stormy day, a bridge washed out with the tide. The flagman waited intense and grim with the stock flag at his side. A train came thundering down the line. The flag was flooded with might. He never slowed down the engineer was certain the flag was white. Out, the train rumbled on so unawares of danger and death ahead. It tumbled and crashed, a terrible wreck, and many a soul was dead. The, the flagman, of course, was worried sick. He was sure the flag was red, but when they came to investigate, they found it was white instead. The flag that I carry along in life, in faithfulness may it wave, never be fading in Christian zeal, with the color still crisp to the grave. Awesome, okay. The man and the watch. The man and the watch swung side by side in a measured and steady sort of a stride. And as they strode, I heard them chat of the seasons and weather and this and that. Said the man as he walked by the side of the road, see the fields over yonder, the fields I've sowed. I live by my might and my cunning advance, the creature of reason who came here by chance. I know no creator, I simply evolve. Whatever I know is what I have sold. Now on as he rambled of reason and fate, discounting God's mercy and yon pearly gate. The watch kept on ticking, as good watches do, with hands that are honest and a face that was true. And hid though he was, by the cuff of a sleeve, he kept right on working without a reprieve. At length in his ticking and clicking small way, he spoke to the man as they ambled that day. I did not evolve. T'would be foolish to stand before you and say, I came out of the sand. My jewels could scarcely have happened to come out of the out of the deep and into the sun. So you you are quite foolish to look to the sky and claim evolution when you're larger than I. You've a heart that can pump all the blood in your veins and eyes like a camera which always maintains an invisible foul in your memory's hall where each lies in portrait for you to recall. You have a built-in recorder which catches all sound and fouls it away in a manner profound. Your sensory system is finer than wires, and your feet can endure much longer than tires. You think and you move, and you go where you will, but foolishness makes you deny the Lord still. So the watch in his discourse spoke truth to the man who came, claimed evolution from sea and from sand. The Lord God Almighty, who reigns up above, made man in his discourse to share in his love. Awesome. Okay, Deborah, your name, what's your name? Stay right there. What's your name? What's your name? Deborah? You know who else is named Deborah? Grandma. Grandma. Grandma who? Grandma Stoner? Yeah. Okay. So you're named after Grandma Stoner. Do you have a poem? Can you do a poem for Grandma? Jesus wept. Jesus wept. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs>